hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we are going to compare the multiple cloud provider like google cloud aws web service and microsoft azure and end of this video you all came to know which cloud is the best one for your career and your client requirement let's start our video guys thank you When we have decided to compare these three cloud providers, we have to majorly take three factors to compare all these. First one, the technical comparison. The second one, what is best for our career growth. The third one, which is very much best for the client requirement. In technical comparison, we are going to see the first one, when cloud providers are launched officially. GCP, which has been officially introduced 2011. AWS, which has been officially introduced 2006. When we take Azure, Microsoft Azure is officially introduced 2010. Second point, we are going to discuss the total regions of each cloud providers. GCP totally it has around 21 regions globally. AWS it has around 22 regions globally. Microsoft Azure which has around 54 regions globally. Third point we are going to talk about market share. GCP it has around 10% of market share worldwide. AWS which has around 38% of market share worldwide. Microsoft Azure which has around 16% of market share worldwide. In this section we are going to compare the career growth which cloud providers give you a very good career growth for all our engineers. First point establishment. AWS has been introduced around 5 to 6 years before of Azure and GCP. So the winner here is AWS. Second point availability zone. However, Azure having more data centers, but when come to availability zone, globally in the world, AWS has more number of availability zones. So again, the winner is AWS. Third point market share. With around one third of market share, it's in name of AWS. So again, the winner is AWS. Point number four, when talk about services, AWS having almost all the features and functionalities and all other services. So again, the winner is AWS. Next point, we are going to analyze about growth rate because growth rate is very much important. So with that perspective, if you see GCP, we can see almost 100% of growth rate so here the winner is gcp at the last point who uses them there are various customers are already using aws azure and gcp so in this section we made it as it's a tie in this last consideration we are going to talk from the perspective of customers expectation yes of course when we are talking about customers expectation they are more and more concerned about billing part yes cost is the major problem for them see for that we are taking major two examples to compare the cost so by end of this right you will came to know which cloud provider gives you best service with less price first we'll to look at small instance i'm going to take on small instance i'm going to compare with aws azure and gcp where if you take the smallest instance which provided by AWS Azure GCP which is 2 virtual CPU and 8 GB of RAM we will consider like that. So AWS for this configuration they are charging around $69 per month and Azure they are charging $70 per month and GCP they are charging around $52 per month. This is the ratio in the smallest instance 
we can expect the good billing from GCP. Straight away, if we compare the largest instance, which means the biggest resource, we are taking 3.89 terabyte of RAM and 20, 128 core virtual CPU. So this is the maximum instance type which I am going to compare for all these three cloud providers. AWS for this, they are charging 3.97 per hours. And Azure for the same configuration of largest instance, they are charging 6.79 per hours. And GCP, if you look at, they are charging 5.32 dollars per hours. So by the way, you will came to know when you compare the huge instance, large number of resources, somewhat AWS as well as GCP, it's give you best billing for our clients.